This is tutorial number 11, and we will be covering the fillet variable radius feature within SOLIDWORKS. For this tutorial, open up the fillet tutorial part, which I included on the DVD as well. Now, to start off, let's click fillet, click variable radius, and now let's choose a line on the part that we'll add the fillet to. And let's choose this line going across the top. Now scroll down, and we have two different points, one there and one there, that we can choose the radius lengths for each. So let's make one 20 millimeters, and for two, let's make it five millimeters. So you can see that on one side the radius is five, and the other one it's 20, and the variable radius increases from five to 20, creates that radius. Now we can also assign a radius to each of these individual points there. So let's click the one in the middle and that's going to be our point, our third point, and let's make that radius smaller. Let's make it two. Okay, now accept and we've created a variable radius going across the top there. Now go on to the other side of the part, let's click the top, click fillet, click variable radius, and as you can see there's three points there. We can increase them with this button. As we increase them we can make more intersection points so we can make it more precise. So say we have five. Now our first one will make it 20, our second one will make it 5 again, now, we'll make this point 3. We'll make this point 10. We'll make this point 5. Make this point 10. And we'll make the last point 5. Now in our preview, we can see all the different radiuses that we've given and what it's going to look like. So let's accept this, and we've made another variable radius on there. We can also do variable radiuses to the circular fillets that we want to do. So let's click the top one there, click fillet, click variable radius. With the circular pattern, it only gives you one point to start out with, so you have to use the other instances that you add in. We can add as many as we want, let's just do three. So for point one, let's make it five. For point two, let's make it 10. For point three, let's make it five. And for point four, let's make it 10. Click accept. And we've made variable radius on the circle now. And we can also do this inside. So let's click the inside circle, click fillet, click variable radius. And with our four points, we can do this again. So let's do five for point one, for point two, Let's make it 2. For point 3, let's make it 5. And for point 4, let's make it 2. Click accept. And now we've made another variable radius inside of the circle. And this concludes our tutorial on variable radiuses.